Hello and welcome back. I would like to start by running this application on the browser. So in the command line, I'll type ionic save. So by default, we get this page that was generated when we created the application. In the home.html file, I'll get rid of this. And I'll also change this title here to Ionic Spotify. I'll save this. Next, I'll create an Ion search bar so that the user can use it to enter the name of the artist they want to search. So Ion search bar. I'll save this. And we have it like this in the browser. So when the user enters a value here, we want to read that value and send it to Spotify. In order to achieve that, I'll add to this ion search bar an ion input event, which is basically like the key up event in Angular. So ion input. I'll just call this search and pass in this event object. We are going to use it to capture the value in the input field. So let's go ahead and implement this method in the home.ts file. The event should be of type any. So I can then use this event object to capture the value that was entered in the ion search bar. I will store that in a variable called value event dot target dot value. We can log this to the console to see how it looks like. So back in the browser. I'll open up the console and if I type any value in this ion search bar we get it like this so all we need to do now is to pass this value which represents the name of the artist in the search function that we define in the provider class so I'll start by importing inside here the provider we got its Spotify provider and in order to use it we need to inject it here as a dependency so private I'll just call that provider of type Spotify provider next I'll use this object to call the search artist function and pass in this value so this the provider the search artist I'm passing this value here and in order to send the request we need to subscribe to this function so let subscribe and if everything goes on correctly we'll get the data I'll just lock it to the console for the time being If not, we get an error. I'll also just lock it to the console. So if we try to test this on the browser, you see we have the following error. No provider for HTTP client. This is because we didn't import the Angular HTTP client module in the app module.ts file. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll open up the app module.ts file and import the Angular HTTP client module. So this should be from Angular common HTTP and it should be the HTTP 
client module we need to add it as an import here I'll save that so let's test this to see if we get any response from Spotify I'll open up the browser and start typing here something we have an error yeah this is because we have an extra slash here you see let's go ahead and fix that okay get rid of this one here and save it and once more back in the browser if i start typing a name here you see we get a response from spotify so the response is this artist object and inside this object we have an array of items that uh, contains information about different artists that my content be in their name for example like here we have Kathy Kathy B and in the second array index here we have another artist called the notorious big and all the like so our point of interest here is this items array i'm going to assign it to a local variable so back in the home.ts file i'll create a local variable called items it will be an array of type any then i'll assign the items we got from spotify to this local variable here so these dot items should be equal to data dot artist dot item so forget about this uh, red line here everything is okay this is because visual studio code cannot figure out what this property called artist is but we know it exists so i'll just go ahead and lock this items to the console and back in the browser if i type here b again you see we have it like this it's just an array of items i'm going to loop through this array in the html file and display the name and maybe the popularity of the artist so back in the home.html file i would like to display the array of items only when it is not empty so i'll create here a div and add here an if condition so ng if so this should be if items dot length is greater than zero and we can improve on this by adding here a question mark which basically means that a check will be done to see if this item is null or not before checking for the length so with this in place i can then look through the array of items and display whatsoever i want to display in an ionic list so i'll create here an ion list So in this list, I'll look through the array of items, ng4, let i of items, and I'll display the name of the artist. So I'll add here ion item. and i'll just display the name in an h1 tag so this should be name i dot name and i'll also display the artist popularity in a bash so ion badge
I'll set the color to primary and this should be I dot popularity I'll save that and in the home.ts file I'll also make this private here and save it so back in the browser if I search for an artist you see we get the various artist names and their popularities if you are having authorization errors here then you need to generate a new access token key I'll add here popularity and also change this to artist and finally I'll add here a button this should be ion button I'll give it a color of secondary and I'll just call this albums so let's take a look in the browser I'll type here key so when the user clicks on this albums button here they should be able to see the various albums belonging to a particular artist and we are going to be implementing that in the next video until then, see you.